Good morning, Crosby Nation, and welcome to our Cougar Cup live stream for a Turn 4 wrap-up going into Turn 5. And you all may be thinking, well, dang, Mr. Stivers, it is already midway through Turn 5. Why are we just now having this Cougar Cup? Well, we've got a couple reasons, right? Um, the goal for our Turn 4, which we're going to recap for you, took a little bit of time when we think about the way the grading period ended and when teachers post grades and when we actually get records of those. Uh, the second reason, I mean, if you've been looking outside lately, it's been interesting weather. One day we have windstorms, the next we have ice, the next we get, uh, you know, power outages. So welcome to Louisville. So that's a part of our also staggered time of how it's taken us a little bit of time to get this data to present to you today. But we are so excited you are here. In case this is your first time ever with us for the Cougar Cup Challenge, or you've never paid attention, I hope you're paying attention, is our Cougar Cup is a year-long competition that we do in small goals for every term. A term is six weeks, by the way, in case you're wondering. So your team can uh, rally around a focus goal that we have and earn a potential prize. And by the end of the year, there's only going to be one team that earns that Cougar Cup to keep and have bragging rights for the entire 2022-2023 academic school year. And ultimately, I mean, why we're doing that is that we are a school that wants 100% of our students to know and feel like they belong and to be a part of their team. So as you can see right there, we have Pathfinders who won the previous term, uh, Cougar Cup, and they got to celebrate and keep that on their team. But unfortunately, they could not keep it the last term and they had to deliver to the Voyagers. So you can just see the celebration taking place right there. Uh, in Ms. Whitaker's class, so congratulations again to our Voyagers who won the previous term. Not only got the incentive of that hot chocolate party, but also got to uh, have a dress down day. And hey, at Crosby Middle, who doesn't love a dress down day? So let's review what that term four challenge was in case you weren't paying attention. Um, but what was it? The term four goal and prize was that every student on every team that met or exceeded 75% of our honor roll, that entire team would get a popcorn party. And uh, the singular team, again, that would get the highest percentage would receive a dress down day. So let's see how we did, Crosby Nation. Uh, and before I show the slides of, of scoring, if you're cu curious about how the point system works, for every six weeks, these are the term displacements. So we have 900 points for first place all the way down to earning at least 100 points, even if you come in ninth. So results, drum roll, please. You guys ready for this, okay? I've been preparing really hard. Unfortunately, no teams met 75%. I mean, that was a lofty goal and we learned a lot about our data, but there's still much to celebrate when we think about our team. So unfortunately, nobody earned the popcorn party, but there's still a top winner when it comes to the dress down day. Uh, and these point systems are still gonna work for the rolling points. So again, much to celebrate. We did have six teams that had 40% or more of their students earn honor roll, and that is worth celebrating, which we're doing today on this live stream. I'm gonna tell you who's the top winner and also what the term five challenge is. In six highest with percentage, we had the Pioneers at 40.65%. Way to go, Pioneers. The fifth highest percentage was those sixth graders, Argonauts. You gotta watch out for them, guys. 43.10%. Fourth highest percentage was our Aviators. Way to go, Aviators, 43.48%. And third highest was Discoverers at 47.46%. Second highest was Pathfinders. And that Pathfinders team, seventh grade, rocking it at almost half of their team earning on a roll, 49.55. And in first place with the highest percentage on a roll, at least earning a dress down day, even though nobody won the popcorn challenge, is Trailblazers with 50% of their team earning all A's and B's. So I do want to make this plug too. Uh, earning a C is nothing to hang your head about. Uh, we at Crosby know that you can show your growth through a lot of ways. Uh, this happened to be just one of our focus goals where we really wanted to push for our students to get all A's and B's on a particular report card. So uh, Crosby continues to do your best no matter what, and we're proud of you. So the Term 4 Challenge wrap up for pointage. We had Trailblazers earning 900 points, Pathfinders 800, Discover 700, Aviators 600, Argonauts 500, Pioneers 4, Voyagers 300, Mariners rounding out with 200 points, and Explorers earning 100 points. So current rankings, look at this shift, look at this change. Here we go, Pathfinders on top with 2200. Hashtag celebration to our Trailblazers, who because of this term for challenge with honor roll, 
jumped all the way to second place. So I'm here to, this morning to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it is still anybody's game with our point systems. So uh, Mariners, if you earn 900 points, you're already up in the rank right there. So continue, continue to focus on our goals. So you might be wondering, what is our term five goal? We're already in the midst of it right now. If you're listening to morning announcements, you can always hear about how we're celebrating student attendance. And that's what our goal is for term five, attendance of 90% or more for your team. We did this, in fact, for our first Cougar Cup Challenge and had, I believe it was six out of our nine teams earn this. So we know it's possible. And the reason we're bringing this back is because we realize that we're getting ready to wrap up the year. We realize our state testing is coming around the corner and we want all of you all to be showing up as much as you can to school so you can be successful because we need you here. So we're gonna start doing that uh, and your teachers are gonna start also talking about how we can prep for testing uh, to really get your mindset ready uh, to showcase to the state of Kentucky what Crosby is made of. So on February 22nd is when our term five started. It ends April 12th, so it is fast approaching. So just be thinking about your attendance between now and then of how you're doing. Because nobody earned that popcorn party, we want to bring that incentive back. So again, every student on every team that meets or exceeds 90%, that entire team is going to earn the reward of a popcorn party. And again, the single team that earns the highest percent of attendance is going to get a dress down day. So the remainder of your team time, you can talk about uh, the comprehensive school survey. If you haven't done it, students, we want 100% of our students to do that. If your team also has to do uh, one of our SEL lessons, you can dig into that. But take time to just talk about, hey, being here matters. So how can we rally together for this term five challenge? Because not only do we want popcorn, but we want to be at school so we can show up and show that we are all in all the time. So thank you so much, Crosby, for listening. Wishing you a great Friday, great weekend. Peace out, and we'll see you next time for our Cougar Cup.